everyone so I wanted to try this tutorial a while ago but I keep forgetting and putting it off I'm going to try to do what's called a fishbone um, design I used to do it in my daughter's hair and you can do it with your nails so I'm using Hotlanta as my base and then I'm also using Tokyo Lights. This pretty pink one is Caribbean Coral. And then leftover Swiss Intel. So you want to start out by taking the plastic piece off the top layer. I forgot to leave one on to show you. But then you just cut it into strips like that. But I'm not using that one, I'll just save it for something else. And then you want to get your base um, color and you want to take off the top. So then, let's see, it's my first time doing it with the nails color strips. So usually I just used to stamp, but you want to take two colors. For the first one, I'm going to do the pink and the white, and you want to peel it. What, sweetie? So throw it away. And then you want to start with an X. So let's attempt to do this. Hopefully it works out because I love this look. I think it's really pretty. So, and then you want to take your other color and peel it off from the base. This is like the hardest part for me, I swear. Let's see. Hold on. Anyways, what are you guys up to today? Um, today is Friday, so just some more school for the kids. Can't really go and play outside much because of all the smoke. Let me know where you guys are from. I'm in Washington, so the fires are really blowing all the wind and smoke around. Okay, so you want to start off with an X, then you get your next color, and depending where you are, I hope you guys are safe and not near the fires. Luckily they're not next to me, but we do have a lot of smoke. So then you get your third color and you want to line it up right next to that one. So like that. And then I'm going to go back to, let's see, the white. Or maybe I should get another pink and do four. Let me find a pink one. because. That might look better. Not sure yet. I will see what it looks like before I stick it down. So taking the top off. But yeah, let me know how you guys are doing. I'm just sitting here helping the kids with school. Today is my youngest daughter's first day of kindergarten. She's basically done for the day but she did really really good and she um, worked the computer good she got things done I'm really proud of her she colored and did her um, little name and stuff she already knew how to do her name just from being at home but yeah she had a lot of fun I thought it was cool okay I think I don't know if I should do the white or the pink. Let's see. Probably the pink is my guess. Because that's my base color. Hmm. I think I'm going to do pink. And if not, then I will just start over. If I don't like the look of it. I think... I think I'm supposed to do pink. I honestly don't remember. I watched some video... <clears throat> on YouTube 
but her nails were really short so she only did like two pieces and I'm trying to peel this that's what I'm trying to do he can go on the chair just don't let him get your crackers okay okay so then you peel it and then you line it up against it on this side so you can do it with any colors Probably as many colors as you want. I don't think that matters. And then I'm going to go back to my first. So that would be white. And these were some samples that my friend gave me. I have to check if they're in stock. If not, there's definitely colors that match these ones. So now I'm just going to the white on the opposite side like that and now I'm going back to Tokyo Lights to cross the other way and it's supposed to give you like a braided pattern I think it looks really pretty so then we go oops, this way don't know how much I need for my nail. Let's see. Maybe uh, like one more go. So then I'm going to do this one. This one's really pretty pink. I think it's called coral something. Um, Hotlanta was a bright pink one. Caribbean coral was this pretty one. And then go since I did that way so I'm gonna go this way now all right and then another pink and then I'm probably going to put it on my nail now because it looks about the right size and if you try this definitely post pictures and let me know how it goes or if you're receiving your nails in the mail so I don't know why that always makes me giggle um, definitely post pictures I like seeing them and if you need help I stay up really late just because I stay up late and I like my time at night um, I can always help you with whatever you need if you have problems okay so then you're gonna turn it over and you're just going to cut off all of this excess, excess polish, like that. And you're just going to set that aside in your little garbage pile. So then you have your little braided fishbone nail. So I'm just going to measure once more. Oop, wrong nail. Okay. So that's definitely going to fit. So now I just want to take this off like you would if it was just a plain nail and take the little top off. I mean, that doesn't really matter because you're just going to pinch it off because that's not enough to do a nail. And then put it on. Again, not on your cuticle. You want to put it right below so it doesn't peel up. And then push it down on the sides. You want to keep smoothing it out to where there's no bubbles. You just keep pressing, rubbing, pressing more, and then I tuck it under and squish it with my nail. To rip it off or you can file and in the tutorial the they used a top coat I don't think I'm going to use a top coat but you definitely can just to smooth it out so after you do that that is what you're left with and I'm so excited it came out good 
I like it. I'm just going to keep pressing it and file this off, this little piece down here, because I don't want it. Like that. Get that little piece. I like tucking it under. It feels like it lasts longer. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, if you try this, definitely let me know. If you have questions about it, also let me know. I will be happy to help you. And I'm going to do um, a surprise. Like if you buy a buy three, get one, then you can pick out one of these bags. And I'm going to feel, feel, I'm going to fill it up with a bunch of like little goodies and I will send it in the mail to you. Um, or if you live close to me, you can pick it up or I can drop it off. I don't mind. So if you do get the buy one, get one free. No, not the buy one, get one free. Oh my goodness. My brain is just all over the place. Anyways, if you do the buy three, get one, you have the choice between one, two or three. And obviously, if you buy it first, you get first choice. They will all have a set of nails inside, that's for sure. And then everything else inside is going to be a surprise. I'm really excited how that turned out. It's pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do my other hand and then make sure the kids are done and ready for school and then go shopping. So yeah, again, if you need help, please let me know. If you try this tutorial, let me know. If you get a buy three, get one, let me know because you will get this. You will get one. So yeah. All right. Have a good day. Bye.